Okie dokie, this is my messy hair area in Blender. Um, this is a load of um, prims that were made for hair, scattered all over the place. Lots of Tauruses, and this guy's got a bunch of sculpty shapes on. I did an example of how to... Um, oh, I didn't mean to move that guy. Ah, oh, hell. Um, I did a bit of an example a second ago on how I was making duplicates of these cats by, you know, selecting whatever prim it is, duplicate object, and then you got another one. You can also come down here and, um, mirror it. mirror on whatever axis you want to mirror it on and um, then it becomes the opposite direction you can make you can populate a whole head pretty quick with just a few shapes and then um, being is that I'm in blender now instead of second life you can um, do fun stuff like um, take a hold of the um, what I was going to say was go into um, sculpt mode on this thing pick out whatever um, type of tool you want and you can grab a hold of something like this and really morph it around um, which makes everything a lot more um, uh, that's the word I'm looking for a lot more bendable and doable say you know anything that you had um, anything that you had in there that needed uh, you know moved around manipulated you can manipulate it a lot better well you can't do that in Second Life so there you go however the interface of moving prims around is a lot more difficult for me here. I'm not used to it. Um, so, this is how I've been doing things down here in um, Blender for my projects lately. I think on a lot of these hairdos, I'm better off leaving them unrigged. Because people want to modify them and change them to their own liking. And um, with this guy, I just wanted to make sure that his forehead didn't, you know, pompadour didn't stick out like 15 inches like jeans used to. It was a little bit on the comical side. And I was also trying to keep down the number of prims, but it doesn't look like I've succeeded in keeping that down on this guy. We'll see how the finished product works. And then, what else? Uh, I guess that's all I was really going to say. Just a view into what I'm doing with hair right now. I had scarves. I had head scarves and things like that back here that I haven't figured out what to do with yet. Um... Yeah, it's just the old prims and toruses and, and sculpty hair prims. Once you get them over here in to Blender as a DAE, you can do a lot more with them than you could in Second Life, changing their structure a little bit. Here's a little appendage to this video I wanted to put. Uh... When I was, uh, when you'll be looking at a lot of vertices, and um, right now this is astronomical, but um, this little guy right here um, has, uh, as you can see, all the little triangles and things. There was a tutorial I did yesterday um, by some guy, not me doing it, but um, getting down the vertices in your uh, account on something you would take 
in object mode, you add a modifier, the decimate modifier, and then pull this down to, um, I was pulling them down to about half, or whenever they started to break up and look stupid, um, was when I was quitting. And that cut down my, um, vertice count big time. Um, but some of the, the ones that I said they were duplicates, I was getting an error on when I hit apply. Um, so... I think that was my problem yesterday, and Second Life would not let me upload those duplicates because of this. Anyway, that was my little side note that I had forgotten. I will edit that right into it. So, this is my studio. This is how it looks. It's a big mess. And I've left it this way. I can find a prim way over here and go, oh yeah, that's the shape I need. And then drag it over here and stick it on this guy's head. Um, but it's really kind of, you know, sometimes when you're doing border select, grab. When I get done with this, I can get ready to grab just the hair. I gotta get everything way away from what I'm grabbing. Yesterday I grabbed something I shouldn't have. And I rigged it accidentally. About four foot away from my character and had to fix that. So, there you go. Inside look into the creation. And yeah, I think I'm going insane. Long day, long day. As always, thanks for listening to my rambling ass and stay tuned for the next episode of. As the stomach churns. <laughs>